Welcome to today's video. If you guys don't know me, hi, my name is Rosa, and I'm just your average Disney-loving spooky girl next door who really likes makeup. So today I'm going to be showing you what is inside my travel makeup case. I bring this makeup case everywhere I go when I travel now. I actually got it from Generation Beauty San Francisco, and Milani graciously gifted me this makeup bag, and I am obsessed with it. So if you guys want to see what's inside this makeup bag, please make sure to keep on watching. Also, please make sure to like this video if you liked it. Subscribe if you haven't yet joined the Briar Patch family, where we have fun here all the time and also go ahead and click that bell button right next to the subscribe button because then you'll be notified 100% when all my videos come out if you guys are interested all right let's go ahead and get started so as I mentioned this is a Milani travel makeup case it is pretty big and I do take a lot of makeup with me and actually my everyday makeup is in here as well and it is black and gold and it says Milani right on the front there hecka fancy and then let's go ahead and open it up let's hope I have nothing weird in here <laughs> By the way, yes, these are my PJs because, girl, I want to be comfortable today. All right, you guys ready? You guys ready for this reveal? Oh, my God. Okay. Dun, 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 dun. Legit the best ever. So, let's just go in and start from things that are not in any pockets. So, I have two things on the side right here. I have my little Tresemme. Um, professionals tray 2 spray it's a four strength spray it's my favorite hairspray they always sell this in little baby bottles so I always end up buying them I'm actually running out of this one so I have to go get a new one this is like 99 cents at Target next I just have a BB Prezi powder um, dry shampoo style extender and volumizer by uh, Bumble and Bumble and I got this in like a little baby set from Sephora uh, for one of their point perks so I keep this in here as well because when I go on vacation I actually only wash my hair I think once um, if I go for like a week I wash it once or twice maybe twice I'm not sure um, but usually once so I like to keep a little powder and this is just powder so it's not a sprayer or anything so this is actually great to take with you on vacation let's move on to these guys so I have a few different pouches these pouches did come with the case um, I have have like a face pouch, a face makeup pouch, a lip pouch, and an eye pouch. So let's go and show you what I keep in this pouch first. So this is the first pouch. It says Milani right here. And in here I keep a few travel items. So the first item I keep in here is my purifying toner with marine algae and green tea by Derma E. I love this stuff so much. It smells so good and it is small enough to travel with. It is two fluid ounces so it's perfect to take with you when you travel. Next I have my holy grail moisturizer. I love this moisturizer but it's so little that I just take it with me on vacation. This is the Bobbi Brown um, Repair Moisturizing Balm and it smells so good and it's white and as you can see I've barely used any because I use this so sparingly. The last product I usually keep for skincare in my makeup bag. I do have skincare wipes and like a face wash that I'll usually take with me but I'm out at the moment so this is what I have right now. This is just the Nourish Organic Renewing Eye Cream with Avocado and Argan Oil. It's for normal to dry skin. It's just an eye cream because most of the time when I travel, I wake up early and go to sleep late, and when I wake up the next day, I look like death has come for me, but I escaped it. So this really helps kind of like make me feel a little bit more awake in the morning. It's very cooling, it's really nice feeling, and it's just amazing. So that's what I keep in my skincare box, or my skincare little pouch. All right, so the next pouch I have has all of my face stuff when I travel at the moment. I just keep it in here because it's just a lot easier for me not to have to pack makeup when I travel. So I keep all of my travel stuff always together. Um, the first thing I have in here is this Super BB Instaretta uh, Insta Ready, Insta Ready Physicians Formula. This is in light medium. I got this at Generation Beauty SF as well. I decided to use it for my travel because not only is it pretty, it's like kind of light to medium coverage, which is what I look for in when I travel. But this is also um, SPF 30, so it's perfect because usually we travel to Disney or like Vegas or something. So those are like the two main places we travel. So definitely you need sunscreen when you go to those two places. Next, I have my Holy Grail highlighter in here. This is my Mary Luminizer. Again, this is my everyday makeup as well. And I just love this um, highlighter so much. It is super pretty. 
Next, I have this Laura Mercier powder. This is in translucent. It's just to help set my makeup for the day. I have my favorite blush by Model Co. in Peach Bellini in here. I have this primer. This is the Tarte Clean Slate Poreless Primer. Love this stuff. And then, and then finally, I have my Urban Decay Naked Skin that goes with me at the moment when I travel. I'm just trying to use it up, so I have it in my travel bag. Next is my lip. I guess I'll just go into my lip stuff. At the moment, I just have this in here. I have so many lip products, but this is like my go-to of when I travel. So I like to take a liquid with me. I like to take a regular lipstick with me and a few other things. So for my lip treatment, I take the Jouer Essential Lip Enhancer Conditioning Lip Treatment. This is the original one. It smells like rose. It is amazing. I love this stuff so much. For lipstick, I usually just take this guy. This is the Viva Glam 2 by MAC. I love this so much. By the way, a MAC lipstick um, swatch video is coming shortly for you guys. So look out for that. Again, subscribe if you want to see that video. It's coming soon. Then I have a liquid lipstick that I take with me. It's usually a nude one. I'm, this is the Kat Von D Lolita liquid lipstick. Really, really pretty uh, liquid lipstick. I think it's awesome. So I take that with me as well. And then I usually take my ColourPop Cosmetics um, pencils. They're just really great quality. They're super cheap and they travel really well. And then the last two things I keep in my lip are perfumes because it's the only place I can really keep them. I just usually take like little travel perfumes. Right now I have uh, New York's Dinky. I used to call this Dinky. Isn't that funny? When I was a kid, I used to call it Dinky, but Dinky. But it's uh, Decan Y, and this is the. I don't even know which one this is. This is just this one. It looks like this. I don't know. And then the next one is my favorite, which is Viva La Juicy. Love it. Viva La Juicy. And then the final pouch is eye stuff. So I'll take a few eye things with me when I go and travel. Depending on where, I'll always bring a set of lashes just in case I decide I want to be glamorous. Usually doesn't happen because I'm usually too exhausted to even bother. And then I usually take contact lenses uh, with me. I obviously used a lot of them on my previous trip, so I only have have one pair left in here. I take my eye primer, which is the Paintly Paint Pot. Love this stuff. As you can see, like it's definitely hit bottom. I of course take my duo lash glue, which I'm pretty sure this is the reason why they like. Oh, it won't even open now. Oh, there we go. It is like really messed up because of just elevation and stuff. I'll take that out actually to clean it up a little bit. But I'm pretty sure this is the reason why my luggage was scanned. So, like, they took me to the side and was like, ma'am, may I please check your luggage? And then they messed up all my makeup and I was really pissed. But it's okay. It was worth it. It didn't get taken away from me. Next, uh, at the moment, I'm taking my Mally More is More mascara. I love this mascara when I travel because it gives you the look of falsies without having falsies. So, it's really, really great. I really love the stuff. Oh, and I found some more contacts in here. Then I usually take an eye brightener with me because again, I am exhausted when I travel. So I have my Mr. Right Now um, in Brian B. Beige. It's what it's called on the website. And it's by The Bomb. It's really, really great. It's just a nude stick that you just, you know, line your eyes with. It's great. It's awesome. I love it. And then I have two liquid liners I take with me. One is my Holy Grail e.l.f. liquid liner. I took Midnight by mistake. This time I'm supposed to take, I have to go take my black one, but I thought this was black, but again, I was packing this when I was really tired. And then of course, my Holy Grail Stay Put Matte um, 17 hour wear liquid liner by Milani and I take the coffee one because I really love this liner. All right, so in here, there's also a side zip that looks like this. And we're just gonna go in here real quick and I'll show you. So number one is I take my Kat Von D Shade and Light Palette with me when I travel. It's my favorite palette. I love this for contour and highlight. I also take my Sweet Peach Palette at the moment. It's just a great versatile palette that's good for summer and spring looks and that's literally what I pack for right now. And then I have all of my brushes that I have to wash. So the first one is this BH Cosmetics number no. two brush. It came in a travel set. My handy dandy crown brush. You guys know I love this for contour. I have my Real Techniques by Samantha Chapman setting spray. Oh, by Sam and Sam and Alice. My bad. And this is just a setting uh, setting brush, but I use this for highlighter. 
I have two eye brushes that I use. This one blends out like my main crease and this blends out my like corner crease. And this is both, these are both BH Cosmetics brushes. I really love BH Cosmetics brushes. Next I have my e.l.f. Uh, complexion brush. I use this for blush. I have another, um, another eyeshadow brush. This is by, I have no idea if you guys know what that is. I have no idea if it's gonna focus. If you guys know what that is, let me know. But it's just a nice dense brush. And then I have my foundation brush. At the moment, I'm just using the Luxie 534 angled top buffer. So that's the brush I use. And that is basically everything in this makeup bag. Um, I wanted to show you guys because I really love the way that this really packs in a lot of makeup when you go travel because um, I really need to have one of these because I used to just have everything in like different bags and things like that and it was really annoying because I would forget uh, what would go and where. And this can pack a lot. Like this packs so much, you guys. I'm not even gonna zip it right now, I'm too tired. But it packs so much, you guys. Like it is an amazing bag. I definitely suggest getting like a big bag like this. It doesn't specifically have to be from Milani. I'm actually not sure if they sell this, but I would definitely go to your local Walgreens or drugstore and find a big bag like this and find some pencil cases to put, uh, separate your stuff because this is just awesome. It really helps with travel. It just helps with everything. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please make sure to give it a huge thumbs up if you liked it. Subscribe if you haven't yet joined the Briar Patch Fan Bam where we have fun here all the time. And make sure to hit that bell button next to the subscribe button so you guys can check out my other videos and make sure that you never miss one. And I will see you guys in the next one. Bye. Yo, what's up? I'm the Mad Hatter. I'll pour you tea, please don't let it splatter. Does it really matter? Cause I'm the Mad Hatter. <laughs>